The opposition, ZAPU, is contemplating its own round of recalls from the parliament on all its former members, including the ZANOPF national spokesperson Simon Kayamoyo, who went in the August House through the ruling party's ticket in the last election. ZANU-PF is a major between former liberation movement ZANU and PF ZAPU through the 1987 Unity Accord. In 2008, the now late Dumiso Dabengwa led a handful of former ZAPU top politicians into a pull-out from ZANU-PF to revive the ZAPU. The group cited, among others, violence, corruption, and marginalization of ZAPU members as one of the reasons for ditching the ZANU-PF. However, some former ZAPO officials such as Simon Kayamoyo and Stembiso Nyoni remained within the ZANU-PF. Nyoni as the current small and medium enterprises minister and the ZANU-PF MP from Kai North. ZAPO sources told reporters on Sunday that the party's national executive committee, the NEC, met last week and discussed the possibility of recalling from parliament the party members who are still in the ZANU-PF. The committee also discussed the party's forthcoming elective congress, which has been set for the end of April. The party's Southern Region Director of Communication, Patrick, Patrick Nlovu, confirmed the meeting took place. I can confirm that out national executive met last week and discussed several pertinent issues including our preparations for the forthcoming congress on the issue of recalls which we have asked about i can confirm our legal team has noted that a precedent has been set for following the recent recalls of the mdc alliance mps he said we still have some zapo people preparing to be party members in government yet their membership with zapo has ceased since the unity accord is now dead these people are now subject to recall from the parliament by zapo other former zapo politicians who are still in the zano pf and are being targeted include education minister kane matema who is also a senator and umzingwani mp levy maitlome Zapu's impending recalls will also affect any former Zapu member who is likely to replace the former vice president, Kembo Mohadi, who resigned in a storm last month following revelations of sexual wrongs with female subordinates and married lovers. The former Zipra combatant and current commander of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Philip Valerio Sibanda, is among some of the former Zapu cadets tipped to replace Mohadi. Zapu's Secretary for International Relations, Future Masevele, also confirmed the development. The issue of recalls has been extensively discussed at various Zapu platforms. I had a meeting with Zipra after the National Executive Committee meeting. We discussed many strategic issues and the issue of recalls was also on the agenda, he said. The precedent has been set and we are working with our legal team and also with Zipra structures to identify those who claim to be ZAPU members in government and who no longer represent the values of the party. Masele is contesting for the post of ZAPU Secretary General in the pending party elections. He said the party's constitution clearly stated that if one ceased to be a member of the party, he or she expels himself or herself from the organization. One ceases to be a member of the ZAPU once you promote the interests of another political party or by becoming a member of another political party. Once Zipra has concluded with the list, then we will write a letter to the Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Jacob Mudenda, and recall, he said. During the recent recall of the MDC Alliance by the MDCT and the People's Democratic Party, Mudenda said he could only act upon receiving a letter of recall from the concerned party. Masele also denounced the recent recalling of MDC Alliance MPs, described the decision as ZANU PF's mechanization to cripple opposition parties ahead of the 2023 elections. As ZAPO, we are aware of these mechanizations, he also said.
a blayo based constitutional law expert and human rights lawyer Novani Skorle said Zampu has a strong case on the possibility of recalling its former members from the ZANU-PF. A precedent has been set right or wrong and we know for a fact that it is now possible to recall members from parliament based on different reasons and this has been happening since time immoral. Now, it is a fact that ZANU-PF as it stands is a major of two political parties, that is PF Sapu and ZANU. The long and short of it is that any member, either ZANU or PF Sapu, can be recalled from parliament. So, it is possible that Simon Kaimoyo and Stembiso Nyoni can be recalled from the parliament. And I do not think there is going to be any argument there. The stage has been set and it is possible, said Mr. Love.